The Sanskrit study that I undertake in India gives me such depth of understanding of the Vedic chanting system and also the philosophical system. When I return to England, I then am very lucky to have many, many students who come to me to learn chanting, to learn the Sanskrit language, to understand more about the Indian philosophy. And they are so enthusiastic that they incorporate this chanting into their daily life. They incorporate the practice of Indian spirituality into their daily life. And they love the sounds of Sanskrit. Whenever I come to India, I study Drupad, the amazing ancient art of song. This greatly informs my singing practice and through the singing practice, the recordings I make back in London. These recordings have helped many people in the UK to relieve them from stress, from anxiety and give them peace of mind. There is a huge appetite for Sanskrit in the UK. So many people wish to study it. Many people wish to incorporate the traditions and culture that India has been custodian of for thousands of years into their lives. They practice the alphabet, they sound the shlokas, they're learning to write Devanagari script. So yes, in the UK, the cultures present in India are hugely popular. Whatever I learn in India and all that inspires me both through the people, the culture, my teachers, the sounds, Sanskrit and Drupad stays with me and when I return home I process all of this. I give it back through songs and through my teaching. So all who listen to the songs that come through me and all who come to my classes, they then come into contact with that same essence that I myself experience whilst I'm in India. So for this reason, I feel like I am a living bridge, a Jeevan Sethi. देश का पहला मोबाइल टीवी जो लगातार आपको रखेगा ताजा खबरों से अपडेट घर से दूर हो या दफ्तर से बाहर आप कहीं भी हो खबर छूटेगी नहीं हर मिनट में ताजा हेडलाइंस के साथ राजनीति खेल मनोरंजन लाइफस्टाइल और तमाम दुनिया भर की खबरें न्यूज 360 डिग्री टीवी 24 फोर इंटू सेवन लाइव टीवी ब्रेकिंग बाउंड्रीज